Now, as of the end of September, NEO has delivered year-to-date total deliveries of 161,000. This is something that is pretty exciting. Now, apparently, in terms of the cars they had produced as of the end of September, they were sitting at 1,083 were the ones that NEO exported to countries outside of China. Now, this is 0.67% of the total 161,103 which they had produced which shows you that whatever new is exporting outside of china it was even less than one percent which shows you of how small or how low neo is selling outside of china which is why they've only uh, exported this figure which is less than one percent now the reason why i'm telling you about this or i'm talking to you about this is well you know that european commission wants to impose tariff on ev cars or any ev companies like neo and knowing that neo has only exported this and that is 1083 it therefore means neo cannot be that impacted by the increase as yet because they are not selling that much outside of china i mean some of these cars i would suppose they were going to uae uh, which is the new destination that neo is penetrating i mean we have seen uh, the cars arriving in UAE, we ha are seeing new cars at various UAE stores already. I think it's two stores, which is something that is pretty, pretty good. I mean, Abu Dhabi store we saw, we have I have did a video over the weekend about that, which knowing that those vehicles are amongst the 1,083, we, which we are talking about now, it shows you that China is where Neo is really making lots and lots of their money i think 98 percent of neo's total revenue i think it's coming in china which would make sense right yes neo is not uh, doing that well outside of china but i think this will change next year uh, around the same time we might be talking about something totally different because they would have started uh, importing that they are also sub brand on for l60 which that will be quite affordable and it might do pretty well in uh, in Europe right so hopefully things get better with time outside of China but as it stands things are not doing that well no way on the other hand in Europe as per what we've been saying this month we are seeing something totally different in Norway because Norway as per the video I did I think is it yesterday we we're talking about Norway having reached 105 deliveries from the 1st to the 18th which is something that it's signaling that in no way we might get a new monthly record in terms of deliveries and we look forward to that so yeah man this export that neo has done taking cars outside of china only constitute to about 0.67 percent of what they have produced i mean if you check other companies like uh, cherry jack byd you will notice that some of these companies are really exporting a lot. I mean, Cherry, for instance, as soon as you screen, you'll notice that they have they have produced one million one hundred twenty-five thousand seven hundred seventy-four cars, and they have exported out of that one point one million they produce, they exported eight hundred and twenty-nine thousand. This shows you that Cherry Man is exporting a lot of cars outside of China, and these are some of the companies that will that will really feel the heat after the tariff increase especially in europe right because then their cars will have to be uh, they'll be forced to increase prices on their cars which as a result will slow down the demand which they get i mean jack they have produced 299,000, almost 300,000, and they have exported <laughs> almost 200,000. this shows you that these cars are really really selling well outside of china than in china neo on the other hand 100 161,093 cars 1083 exported then you've got byd fa 628,000 produced and 4409 exported chengen 209 209,000 exported 26,000 vw and hui 24,900 produced 17,200 exported Hena 6200 exported 7,736 which this again it shows you that NEO is amongst those 
car companies or Chinese EV makers that are exporting fewer cars outside of China. And I must say, these other companies like Cherry, they are, of course, these figures are including the gas cars or engine cars, which is something that, of course, we need to have in mind when we are thinking about these numbers because it's not only for NIO we know that it's new energy vehicle market BYD it's also it also consists of some hyb hybrid cars right so yeah this will slow down or maybe make the Chinese cars outside of China especially in Europe not doing that well because especially these that are these ones that are selling most of the cars in Europe or new energy vehicle cars in Europe because when tariff comes and kicks in these cars are, these car companies are going to of course struggle or the demand is going to be compromised in europe whereas companies like neo they won't feel much heat especially that they are not selling that much or they are not exporting that much in fact the country that is doing the most for neo which is norway it is still going to continue seeing the kind of good sales it's seeing because they are not playing or they are not part of the people that are playing uh, the cards of increasing tariffs on to Chinese EV makers like Neo. So tell me what you think about this man When I saw this report, I just thought I give it to you because it's quite important Because it shows us that Neo is not exporting that much outside of China into other countries But this I know next year we might see some huge shift or some change because Neo would have introduced some brands Neo has penetrated um, UAE of which we are going to still see them exporting quite a number of cars there because that market it might turn out to do well or better than the European market so we look forward man and I just thought I just give you this quick update so tell me what you think about this I know share price wise new is not the company that is doing that well and um, yeah which is why you need to do your own DD so that at least you are comfortable as you are investing into this stock don't know what this week holds for us in terms of the share price but I suppose let's wait and see but remember when we are investing into this stock we are investing it checking one way it could be in the future we are investing for the long term and therefore we need to ignore the day-to-day -day movements that we see sometimes on the stock otherwise that's all from me don't forget to hit that like button comment subscribe and once you subscribe don't forget to hit or click that notification bell so that at least you get reminded every time I drop a new content because on this channel I talk about Neo because I know that blue sky is coming. Otherwise, that's all from me. God bless you all. Mm -hmm.